Sub dudes and dudes, Anna here, and welcome back to my channel. And today I am playing Alice in the Murders of Albion. As always, I'm gonna grab my 30 minute thing. Oh, what is this? A dog growls when it's angry, it's fabulable. What? Oh, this thing gives us a ribbon. Oh. And some energy. Well, I don't need the energy. We have. Oh my gosh. I don't even remember what voice I gave this woman. I don't remember at all. It's been so long. <laughs> oh, I remember this part. Uh. But I don't remember what voice I gave her still. Whatever, I'm just gonna give her a new voice then. <laughs> the parrot screams. Her majesty's orders will not be discussed. Off the dead. The courtesan uh, shoves the bird into the cage and hastily covers it with a grape. Oh, Martin is so funny. He quotes lines from my favorite play. Sure. Cormier, I have just found out that my runaway flamingo has been seen in the city park. The poor thing is frightened and hungry. Please send the police carriage for it. We need to bring that rare bird back home as soon as possible. Dude, like, I don't get it. Does this woman think that the police has nothing else to do but to do her bidding? Smash the crates. Interesting, interesting. Oh, Flamingo. Birds of Paradise collection. Do you mean that I'm gonna have to go and find some other birds for that woman? I, I forgot her name too. What was her name? Uh, Bellini, I think. Isabella Bellini. Yeah. That's better. Nobody escapes from Isabella Bellini. Even if it is just a stupid pink bird that matches the color of my bedroom. Wow. You're so kind to your animals. Listen, friend. Look what flew into my shop. It's either a bird or a boomerang. <laughs> okay. I don't know how you thought that it was a boomerang, though. Like, I mean, looking at this... Okay. <clears throat> its beak looks like an axe. What would you call it? A toucan? Toucan? Token? Who knows? And it expired. And it escaped from that actress. What was her name? Bellini? We gotta give it to her. I mean, return it to her. Why though? Like, that woman is like. Oh. Uh, either way, she was gonna most likely give me the job to find the darn bird. Hmm. Oh, I was right there. Can I leave now? A bone. That's the same bone for that dog, right? What is this thing supposed to be? Uh. What 
is that supposed to be? I bought this book the other day to my nephews, the Ornithologist's Handbook. Look here, the bird that ran away from the actress isn't a regular token, but a mirror world one. Those birds were bred specifically for the queen and her minions. They are very rare. Annoyed present. The courtesan attempts to catch a bird that flutters around her boudoir. Oh, you nasty little feather thing. Give it back, now. She notices you. Oh, Amiko. I've been trying to catch that bird for an hour. Can you help me? Careful. It looks angry. It could bite you. <sighs> Grazi, detective, you notice a heart shaped wax seal. Attached to the bird's leg. Oh, this is a letter from an admirer. The courtesan tucks the letter into a cleavage. I will read it when I'm alone. I guess Eagly got tired of its diet and decided to get a bit of fresh meat on its own. Find the eagle before it gets an indigestion, indigestion or an upset stomach. What is even going... Oh, of course. I just put all these words into my magic mixing pot and suddenly, voila, it turns into an eagle. So let's go grab that dog. Hi! Lift. Oh, yes. Bane of criminals. She smiles at you, Kakatishale. <laughs> Grazi, detective. You brought my birdies home, all safe and sound. Now we are friends. I realize it's a big honor for you, but you deserve it. You know, you kind of irritated me the most. You're like <laughs> the most irritating character. <clears throat> Mon ami. I was reading Alice's diary, hoping to find a clue where she could be, and I came upon this entry. My father gave me a petal of the five petal flower for my birthday. It's a magic flower that grants wishes. Mon ami, if the five petal flower indeed grants wishes, I could ask her to bring my daughter back she thinks. Alice must have kept it in a room. See what play. Help me find it. You know, maybe I should just um, stop voicing all the French lines and just um, directly read all the English ones. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing them right.
that was supposed to be that? Oh my god. I think I might take one of the things. Oh my gosh. <sighs> I never would have guessed this. The magic pedal, detective. Uh, blah, blah. Thank you, detective. Is my only hope of bringing my dear daughter back. Oh, what is it? Fly, little pedal, fly. Fly to the Middleville, save my poor daughter. Oh, the petal came back without us. She must be so far away to the magic of just one. Wait, wait, what? I'm not sure what I just read. I think I read something wrong. Her. My grandpa used to say that the second petal of the five petal flower was enchanted by the White Queen, the true ruler of the mirror world. Its power is greater than that of Alice's petal. But where do we look for it? Meow. The Hatter must know more than I do. Okay. Whoa. Visit the game five days in a row and receive a golden magnifying glass. My reward today is coins of good fortune. Wait, now where is that thing? Traditional English cereal with fruit pieces restores 70 energy points. Oh. Well, but what I wanted to know was that new thing that I just saw. Congratulations! Now you have access to the sanctuary of Albion's criminal world. You realize you shouldn't abuse this privilege. You are welcome here as a friend, not a police officer, he winks at you. I think we understand each other. Sure, man. Sure. I lived in the mirror world for many years and I heard a lot about the cat flowering question. One of its petals can help you achieve happiness. Some its money, for others power. For, but for Lady Fleming, I assume, is bringing her bla the bla it's bringing her daughter back home. I happen to know who has the petal of happiness. He is a fascinating individual. Last year he played the bagpipes. A month ago he was catching butterflies. And now he uh, collects origami figures. Do you see that paper pegasus on the shelf? That's his work. Huh. You know, if I ever try to make things like that, it would not end up good. It would, it would probably... I would probably end up tearing the paper rather than making anything. Ooh. It's such a pretty place. 
a mess, yes, sure, but like, I like it. Le classic Mad Hatter cap hat, whatever. I want to come here more often like it's so pretty fascinating individual don't waste time gather a collection of unusual origami figures and I will trade them for a petal of happiness you already have the first figure. The paper pegged silk. <sighs> now find the rest. Cool, bro, cool. Detective, my friend, the one who has the pedal of happiness, he loves animal figures. I found the paper parrot for him the other day, but I didn't get to the time to stop by and give it to him. You could add the bird to your collection. Porcelain vase. There's a cupcake in the roses. Roses? Whatever butterflower it is, but like, ooh. that congratulations with unbelievable luck you found a magic wand for 24 hours any purchases you make in the bank will give you two times the usual number of coins or crystals well that's pretty useless did you find the parrot Excellent. The sooner you'll find all the Elgin figures, the sooner we, you will get the Petal of Happiness. Restore the Five Petal Flower and ask it to bring Alice Fleming home. Go ahead. I need to count my hats in my meantime. Great. Detective Cheshire told me you were collecting animal shaped origami figures i have a figure you might want for your collection a paper dragon it's a symbol of luck and prosperity that my brother jeff gave me he's a big joker and an excellent cook are you sure you want to give away your like this or uh, dragon thing like i i really wouldn't want to give away these things Especially since your brother gave it to you, like, man, you should cherish that a bit more. I would never give it to anyone, to be honest. If I, if I, if the blah, if I ever had an origami dragon, I would never want to give it to anyone. Wow, I just, I just kind of tapped on it for no reason. I like to look at the thing. 
the suspect listing don't know why it's kind of interesting to look at it fine with a young man who looks a lot like her. Jeff, I have tons of work. The fact that you are my brother doesn't entirely you two. She notices you and falters. Um, detective, this is my mother. I mean, brother. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Detective, this is my brother. He's leaving. Could you take him to the tr railway station? Wow! Yowza! Hey, detective! Wait, oh, which? Oh! Okay. <laughs> I'm not sure what. Okay. Hey, detective! I'm Jeff Wright, the older brother of this mischievous girl. I was an alibi for a, a culinary workshop. The letter. <laughs> workshop. I don't know why I'm, I'm not. I'm unable to read today. I stopped by it over shit. Bleh. I'm gonna do this over. Hey, detective. I'm Jeff Wright, the older brother of this mischievous girl. I was an alibi arm for a culinary workshop. I stopped by to meet my sister. But she's pretending to be terribly busy. Could you give me a lift to the railway station? I'll make you a paper unicorn. Thanks, bro. You absolutely know what I would love. Actually, why aren't we making one or two by ourselves? Or there should be someone who sells it on the streets or something, like, I mean, there must be some kids selling it. It doesn't seem highly unlikely. Okay. 